the next sample that I got my hands on from imaginary authors. And another one I don't think I'd smelled before was um, Cape Heartache. Um, I know a lot of people are really taken with this, and once I put it on my skin, I was quite taken with it too. I really, really enjoy this stuff. Um, for, Car for Cape Heartache, the fictional author is a guy named Philip Sava, and his uh, quote, wildly popular series of exploration novels. Um, quote, it is based loosely on an expedition he made to the Pacific Northwest as a teenager in 1881 and is generally regarded as the most candid of his works. Revolving around a homestead he built in a coastal grove of old growth trees, the novel documents his romance with a young woman who is a descendant of the Nahalem Indian tribe. Its themes of leaving the familiar and finding comfort and solace in a new place still resonate today. The notes. A fir, pine tree, hemlock, vanilla, strawberry, and woodsy notes. Actually, it's not just strawberry. It's big strawberry. So, like, jazz hand strawberry. Um, the fictional notes, you know, how he always, Josh always includes those notes at the very end that, you know, don't really smell like anything, but they're supposed to evoke, you know, certain sort of middle images or whatever. The fictional notes for Cape Heartache are old growth and mountain fog. I thought this was just a really, really lovely smell. Um, starts out with pine and fir and fir, bal fir balsams and some of the greenness of fir too on the top. And um, here's uh, on the top, I also get a little bit of smokiness and a little bit of camphorousness, um, which is really ex reminiscent of you know what you go back to the novel and, and you read about the homestead built in the coastal grove. Well, there you go. Um, it wears down to an ever so slightly, um, not sweet at all, maybe a little bit dusty vanilla. I think I smell vanilla, I think, um, with a touch of strawberry. It sounds really simple, but, um, and I mean, it certainly doesn't come off very complicated on my skin or anything, but I think there's a there's enough there to keep your nose interested for a long period of time. Um, and it certainly develops enough to keep you interested throughout the, you know, five, six hours that you can smell it, which is good enough for me. It's really cozy. It's relaxing. It's comforting. It's warm. It's, it's, a, you know, perfect fall slash winter scent. It's wonderful. Um, I'm a fan of anything woodsy and balsamic in general, uh, but the addition of the strawberry that I just barely noticed, you know, into the mid notes um, and in, in the bass notes just sort of came out of the blue. I wasn't really expecting it. And I just thought the addition was really, really smart. In short, you know, pretty much in line with almost everything that Josh Meyer does. So I've already done my buying for... Uh, this winter season, and when I do do my Christmas haul video, you'll see that um, I did indulge. Um, so this will have to wait until next year, but it's probably going to be um, at the top one or two of the imaginary author's bottles that I think are full bottle worthy next year, and I will be treating myself to. But um, it's already starting to get so warm in my part of the country that I don't want fragrances sitting around in 80 degree weather. So, um, that's how quickly, <laughs> that's how quickly we have spring and it feels like almost summer here again, sometimes in Texas, but, um, we don't get much winter. So I use that time to order fragrances when I can. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy that review Cape heartache. Definitely. Give it a look, see if you enjoy Woody. Kind of that. The, the berry, you know, is just a, a really nice addition, I thought. Nice job, Josh. Bye, guys.